Sean Sewell with InGamer.com, of course, in our beautiful mountains of Colorado. And I wanted to do a quick review video on the Bedrock Cairn sandals. These were not sent to us. Usually things get sent to us to review. I went out and purchased these at REI full price um, on the recommendation of my friend, Coach Adam Pierre. And uh, there's a lot of reasons why I am a big fan of these sandals and I'll go through those in this video review. But one quick look gander at this beautiful minimalist sandal with Vibram traction. That's right, Vibram. There's a lot of good things in this. So I'm excited to get into it. First and foremost, we'll start with sizing. Now, like many sandals, they don't come in half sizes. I am usually an 11 and a half to 12, depending on the brand and the make within the brand. I tried on the 11, I tried on the 12, going back and forth, back and forth, I opted for the size 12. Um, so if you are a half size, I would probably size up half a size to the whole size. You get this awesome Vibram traction. It is thick enough to block out some of the rocks and you know, stubs and branches and stuff that you see here. Uh, but totally great grip, comfortable right out of the box. In fact, I, I bought them in REI with my wife. I bought my wife a different brand of sandals, uh, strictly on fashion. That's what she was looking for. I'm going on function as well as not being hideous. And uh, I'm glad I've been with these. I've actually seen these used by several outdoor uh, people who happen to work for other companies that make sandals. So that was my first uh, insight into it being a good sandal. One of the things that caught my attention right away was this guy right here. It's not nylon webbing going all the way down like in a lot of other ones. It's a very narrow section right there, which if anybody, if you, if you have uh, feet that don't move as well, if you have arthritis, if you have gout, if you just have jankety old feet, you probably don't like having something stuck in there like a tongs or like sandals or flip-flops, right? Well, this has that effect of keeping the sandal in place without that irritating middle of the toe feel. And then it gets really, really smart. It gets really adjustable. So you have different levels of adjustment right here. So this part comes out and then you can simply attach it to the loop that best correlates to keeping this part of the sandal tight. And then you can adjust this guy right here to sync up and tighten down on this side, right? So you're syncing up right here on, I guess this would be the inside, to tighten up right here, and then you cinch down on this guy like that, and he tightens down on that side. But wait, there's more. And then you also get on the heel. So how I usually do it is I keep this guy loosey-goosey, this guy on Velcro a little bit, I put my foot in, I tighten him down where I want him, and then I tighten this guy down. Bam. And then I've got a really locked in, but still minimalist sandal. And it feels really, really good. And I can go trek around for the most part. I can trek around on the train you see here. But my favorite part is not only on a very hot summer day, like we're going to have today, my feet are nice and, you know, exposed so I can breathe, but I can go right down to the creek. You can probably hear the creek. Let me see if I can show you the creek. It's right down there. So I can go down there and not have to worry too much about slipping around because I got Vibram traction and I have a durable sandal that can tolerate negotiating on those wet rocks and logs. And I can soak my tired dogs, my feet in that and feel really, really good about it. Option two of why I picked these up. I've mentioned probably in a dozen now sock and shoe and boot reviews that uh, four months ago I broke my foot and then I, besides breaking the foot, I had to have surgery for arthritis, uh, which I had a month and a half ago and it went well. Physical therapy is going great. I get to see this physical therapist today, hopefully for the last time. Um, but in that time span, a lot of really good people, including Coach Adam Pierre, reached out to me suggesting I tried the Bedrock Cairns. And I'll show you a picture below of why. Um, the incision is not a gross picture. It's not a gross picture at all. It's just a scar. But the incision goes along the big toe towards the middle of the foot. And as you can see, it is not affected by any material on the sandal. So I've been testing a lot of shoes and a lot of the shoes do put not a bad amount, but just a noticeable amount of pressure on that area. And let me tell you, if, if you've ever had gout or if you've had arthritis or you've had a broken foot, any kind of pressure on your, on your foot from a shoe or a boot, 
even a sock sometimes is really painful and also psychologically challenging as well because you know how bad it could hurt and you're like oh i don't want to put that foot into something that could hurt because when it hurt it hurts so bad but uh these uh were able to safely negotiate quickly um that area plus still it still allows great dexterity on the big toe and the metatarsal as well as the other flange um, metatarsals to, to move around right i do a little thing called toe yoga i'll give you some free pt right here and you don't have to be broken to do it there's a few things you can do you can Hold your big toe, big toe down and then raise your these toes. And then after 10 of those, you can hold these toes down with your fingers and then raise your big toe. And then when you're out of the sandals, you can go and grab some carpet or a towel or even marbles. You pick a marble up with your toe and plop it over here. Pick a marble up and plop it over here. That simple little five minute drill a couple times a week will greatly improve your foot health. So when you do go on the trails or go biking or running or hiking, life in general, uh, it's just, it's good to have more resilient feet. It doesn't cost you anything except for a few minutes of your time. And um, yeah, apply that. Let me know how that goes for all of you guys. If you found this helpful, a thumbs up's appreciated. Uh, we're not even affiliated with Bed Bedrock. We have no uh, links to, you know, affiliate links. But I'll probably send you guys a link to REI where I purchased these down below if you want to pick up a pair. I think they're on 115, 125. Uh, perhaps right now you have a dividend to use for REI. If that's the case, uh, you know, get a pair of these for yourself or for a loved one. Right, good stuff. One last gander at the Bedrock cairn sandal right there and of course there are other lineups uh within the bedrock series but um i don't know anything about them i know about this that's why i'm doing the video on this one <laughs> but i will learn more about them in the future i'm sure i'm sean sewell owner and director of stoke and if you want to see more content on more stuff like this sprinkled in with a little bit of health and wellness and fitness then consider subscribing to our engagement youtube channel if you've already subscribed thank you thank you very much i hope you've been enjoying your experience until next time Take care.